Yeah, threw a mushroom, so that means it's no surprise to me. Just that, how, how sudden it came out, because a week ago, no one could have thought this was going to happen. And how how surprising is this whole turn of events? I mean, it was very surprising for a lot of guys, especially the young guys who just got here. So, I mean, it's an album to them, and then the thing they have to do is just continue to move forward and continue to work. Having been through it before, is there anything you can tell those young guys as far as keeping focused? I mean, just keep your head up, man. Life, I mean, things happen, so, I mean, it's something that you, you know what I'm saying, be able to handle later in life, a uh, situation like this. And, I mean, I just give them all the advice I can. What are your emotions? I mean, it is what it is, man. Like I said, it's life, so, I mean, you have to continue to play. I mean, the season is still a part, so, I mean, you have to keep continuing to play. Sad, though? I mean, I'm not no emotional guy, so I can't really say that. I mean, football. How would you first find out Sunday? Um, I mean, I seen it on the internet, but at first I really didn't believe it. So, I mean, once I got here and we had the meeting, I mean, it was true. What time was that meeting? Five. Five. Have you seen Coach Max since? Uh, I mean, yeah, he came and spoke to us. What was that? Um, that was just uh, a little bit out of practice. How Today? will the team respond to Coach Shannon being the guy now? I mean... In the same way, I mean, it's, uh, the season is still it's still here, so I mean, we have to continue to play. I mean, Coach Shannon's a great coach. I mean, it's just like I felt like Coach Matt was a great coach as well, so I mean, we have to continue to play. What was Max' message to you guys today? I mean, he, he's a Gator. He's always going to be a Gator. You know, I mean, he still have love for us. If we need him, he's there. Was the whole team together for that, or was it a smaller group? No, I mean, the whole team. Is that cool to be able to say, good, say goodbye to him a little bit? Him I mean, and say goodbye to you guys? I mean, of course. I mean, I had a, a relationship with Coach Matt, so... Uh, for him, him coming back, I mean, talking to the team, I mean, this, it was great to see because people thought that he wasn't going to come back. I mean, he came back and he spoke to us. Uh, How long, long did he talk to you guys for? I think he's going to keep it I don't even know. So, so what are some of the team goals at this point going forward? Win out. I mean, of course, a win. Bowl game, Everything. a big deal? Everything. To me, it's a big deal. It's my last year, so, I mean, I want to go out with a bang. With the changes, does it feel like you guys almost start new again? Not at all, man. I mean, Coach Shannon been on the style. I mean, everybody know Coach Shannon, so, I mean, nothing has changed from here. Does it re-energize? I mean, does it energize the season at all? I mean, because he brings a different kind of deal, vibe to the position. I mean, a lot of players relate to him. I mean, some do. Some some still the same. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. He was talking about making changes so things aren't so stagnant. Yes. Do, do you have any idea what that means in terms of? No, nah, not at all, man. You never know what Coach Shannon's thinking and what he's going to do. So, I mean, we have to – he keeps us on our toes, so, I mean, we don't know. You say that with a smile. I mean, he, all, he always been like that. You never know what he's going to do or what he's thinking. Is that a good thing? I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, you, you got to always come in ready to work and always be um, on your toes on the edge of your seat with him, I mean, because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, he did say that he's, like, willing to make changes and he – Different the lineups and do all kinds of I things. I mean, we'll, we'll see when the game comes throughout this week. You feel like you have a grasp on why Coach McElwain's not here anymore? Not at all, man. I don't have nothing. I mean, I don't get into all that. I mean, I just, I'm just here to play football. You grew up pretty close by, and you've kind of you've been here for four years now. Yeah. What, what what does this program need? I wouldn't say what we need. I mean, I just I just say we just need to continue to work. I mean, continue to do what we have to do. I mean. You know, Florida always has swag. I mean, I feel like we need to bring the swag back a little more, even though we still have it. I mean, we just need to we need to step it up a little bit. Big picture wise, do you feel like the fan base is overly negative sometimes? Man, they have their opinions, man. I don't really too much care about what they think. I mean, I don't get into all that. Like I said, I'm not really a media guy, so I mean, when I do see it, I just go right by it. I mean, that's that's what they that's what they're here for. I mean, they're gonna have the they pros and cons to it. So, I mean, they can be negative all they want. They can be positive. I'm still gonna be the same person. Yeah. Scott Strickland said last night that he wants – he's watched this program for afar, for, from afar for a long time, and then when it's at its best, the team's having fun. Do you, do you feel like that's kind of the best brand of football this team's had? I mean, I mean you, you grew need, up close by. I mean, you always need to have fun, man. Like I said, we, we college students, so, I mean, we still, what, 17, 18, and 23? I mean, of course we need to have fun. We're going to have fun. I mean, it's the way of life. I mean – like Coach Shannon always tell us, we used to tell the defense, I mean, I mean, don't let nobody steal your joy. Um, always be happy. I mean, find, find, find peace, and that's what we do. When Coach Shannon takes over and, I guess, speaks to you guys for the first time, what was kind of his message? I mean, you have to work hard, man. Practice. I mean, practice, practice aside everything. I mean, 
like I, like Mark said, I mean, if you're not practicing good, your reps go down. If you're practicing good, your reps go up. Your guys? Mm-hmm.